Hey, I'm Kev Care, I'm Master Girl. Welcome back to MHGP Pro. Has the gates are dropped for the second moto in the Czech Republic around this locket circuit. And Kev Hillman are going to go down the inside of everyone. He went around the outside in that first race, did not end up working as Bogues takes the lead with a couple of slow riders. As here comes Prado down the inside of Hillman. We're trying to get him right back. Is that Ben Watson in front, is it? Got Covington behind. Battling while his teammate Olsen's in front. And Hillman's just been punted out of it. Nice of everyone. As he does it back in the next corner. He's up to seventh. As here comes Covington, maybe with a move on Watson. And on Hillman, just on Watson. So we're not going to go around the outside of Olsen, the winner of the first race, as he gets punted wide by Prado. We've got Siwa as well in that battle. Hillman taking the very high line. It looks like Jonas is lost out in all of that. As Hillman's up to fourth, head of his gang. And Jonas being passed by his teammate Prado. As it's getting very messy behind the leader. As here's Hillman down the inside of Lieber, being pushed right by Siwa. Jonas is coming back through. And it looks like he's getting past Hillman. Oh, he's pushed Hillman into the signs. What an arsehole. He's feisty on the opening app here in the Czech Republic. And Hillman getting no relief. From his championship rival, Jonas with the tactical takedown on Hillman as Hillman tries to get into the top 10 again. Does not want to lose too much time in the early stages like he did in that first race. As he just about survives the opening lap. As he's behind Hunter Lawrence in ninth. As that's not a good job, oh, he's down, Hunter Lawrence. So Hillman up to eighth. He's got the Brit behind him on Nasvarna. And Hillman quickly catching back up to the top five. To the business end. He's got Lyber and Siwa battling like a hell. With Covington. Hillman finds a gap, gets up into... Top five does he? Edo Siwa. Just about. So then going into the Tristy section. And it's like Jonas passed Bogues into the lead. What a that thing. Out of all of the madness, it somehow works out for the championship leader. Of course it does. There's a top five are starting to get away a bit already on this second lap. That's not good news for Covington as Hillman gets into Prado. Just lets everyone know he's back here now. That's why that set back. Cannot believe that though, Jonas. The tactical date down of Hillman. Now Hillman takes his favourite line into that left hand. He gets past Prado. Trying to get past Olsen. Just not got the grip on this hard pack surface. And now look at Prado. Trying to push Hillman wide. Both KTM is just on a mission to push Hillman into no man's land. To Mars. Hillman taking it back, and look at Bogues back then, Jonas, for the lead. Hillman tries to get down the inside of Olsen. Hillman got a slightly different setup this race as well. It's a Serpy used round that fake, tricky French circuit early in the season. Hoping it pays off round here. Just gives him a bit more softer springs. And a bit more kind of reactive bike. Seems to be working so far. He's up to third. Despite being punted by Olsen. Gets down the inside of Bogus. He tries to punt him. Let's look at Jonas trying to get away and in the lead. Hillman sees that. And Mini wants to get by the Dutchman. Get up into second. That's all. That's not a good line from Jonas in front. There's now Olsen past Bogus. He's Lap of fame is over, unfortunately, for the Dutchman. Now he's going to be fading back. Might be lucky even score top 10. As, what the hell is that from Hillman? What? 
that. I've seen some strange crashes. That is one of the strangest of all. Did he try and go up? Look on a suspension pole there. So he's in eighth. He's got Libra in front. That's his second mistake in this first third of the race. Cannot afford any more. As he was right to tell of Jonas, and now the friend, now the Italian is trying to push Hillman. As he gets down the inside of the Brit. Back up to eighth. As he goes past this crew, his crew must be wondering, weren't he just battling at the front? What are you doing back here? As he just about survives an assault from the Belgium from behind. And see where it goes very high. So this man quickly dispatched. He'll win it back up to see if and you can see the top five once again right in front. Well, I say top five, it's fifth to second. Because he looks like Jonas has already got a gap thanks to this battling gaggle. They're just offering it on a plate to Jonas, aren't they? Once again. Given the Latvian some breathing space this race. As you can see, he's got a couple second gap already in the lead. Well, these four are just on top of each other. Like, literally, it looks like at times. So here goes Hillman down the inside of all of them. Well, he's dispatched one pair of Covington and Prado. Now down the inside of Bogues. Look at down the inside of Olsen. He's back into the podium places, at least. Here's Hillman. Good recovery, this lap. So he can't quite get down the inside of Olsen. He gets a bit wild and wide. And Hillman, in response, goes wide into the next corner, distracted by the Norwegian, having to avoid him. So that's allowed Olsen's teammate coming into second. Bogus temp through back up into third. And it's like Hillman's dispatched both of them, though. Up into second now. Can they catch back up to Jonas? He, his lead wasn't as big as before. Almost five seconds maybe in the lead. Almost. But I knew like it would be more, especially with Olsen. Olsen's instant. And it's now Bogies and covers in the back in behind. Hillman trying to slide the bike into the tight corner. He's using that rear brake. Just not quite working out, though, for him. And you see, taking some wide lines as well into corners, hoping to get a good run off them. As you probably see overhead as well, you've got the miserable conditions from the first race. It hasn't really cleared up, unfortunately, here. Look at. And this way, we might have a battle for the lead very shortly. Treating the championship leader and his main challenger. Maybe still is Hillman. No, he lost some points there as Varna boys. And now Olsen's kind of effectively walled himself out of this race. And Covington's battling just to be on the podium with Prado and Bogues behind. And then one's all over the back of Jonas. Often gets better in second races and he takes the lead from Jonas who takes the seaward line and no! He's been told by the official to get back on his bike. Again in that corner. Even though he's done much more hairy lines through that corner. For some reason on this occasion he's just like no. Had enough of that. Very disappointing to see once again. Of a lack of consistency about the line you can take in that corner. But for Hillman, third mistake in the first third, but he's probably where he wants to be at the end of the first of the race, right on the back of the leader. Unfortunately, it's Jonas, so he won't be gaining that many points, if at all, from this round, even if he does win and Jonas is in second. It'd just be one point, won't it, overall? As he lost two in that first race to Jonas. Finished in third behind Notaz Varnas. Hillman, of course, was in fourth. 
Right behind, well I say right behind, it's almost 10 seconds back of Jonas. But definitely not like that at the moment, definitely seems like the softer settings for this bike is working around it. We've got to think about this for all hard pack services the rest of the season. Where can he make the move on Jonas? It's definitely this section he seems to be good. See if Jonas runs wide again. Not as bad on this occasion. And he's got to be a bit cautious in this right hand. Or not down the inside. Sideways in the air. Past the KTM. And oh, Jonas punting him wide. Yeah, we're not taking any of that. Forces Jonas ride, takes his line away, takes the lead. Or does he? Jonas down the inside the next corner. They're scrapping like a hell. Elbows out, racing this hill and takes it back in the next corner. And then Jonas takes it back. In the right hand, nobody giving an inch for the lead. Looks like Hillman's finally got it. Oh, not. No, Jonas punts him wide. So elbow to elbow over the whoop section. Then we've got the inside runs wide. And that was Jonas to go down his inside. This is why he is the championship lead. He never gives up, does Jonas. But runs slightly wide there. Hillman takes the lead. We'll see how long he can hold on, though. As Jonas, for once, didn't fight back into the next corners. Now Olsen on the comeback trail. Back up onto the podium places behind this pair of battling for the win. Never, never know with the Hasvarnas, can't rule them out. They could keep coming fighting back, especially if these two keep being elbow to elbow over the jump. How did they both survive that? Nonis takes back the lead and goes monstrously wide. Hillman takes back the win, or the lead should I say. Who knows who's going to win this with just over half the race remaining. Jonas takes back the lead. No, he's been punted down by Hillman. Hillman being blocked by Jonas. Wiped out. Has he got three Hasvarnas here? In the top six. Got second and third in front, and the Brit in sixth. Got Prado in fifth, Hillman in fourth. And he saw that Hasvarnas had caught up to this pair. For Hillman got blocked there and taken out again controversially by Jonas for the second time in this race. They haven't got a bee in his bonnet about Hillman. Hillman got to fight back again. And look at Jonas being caught incredibly quickly by the Asfana Bay. And for once, Hillman making the outside line work there. No, forced into the fence by Olsen. What is up with everyone? What has Hillman done to them overnight? Have this aggressive riding. This here comes Prado trying to force his way by. This tension's running high here. In the Czech Republic and Prado battling like a hell with the Hasvana behind. Prado really losing out. He could be the first of the championship contenders to fall. If he continues having weekends like this, as. Where are you going, Olsen? Hillman takes back third. No, Olsen says, get out of here. Hillman takes the inside line back into the next right-hander. Into the slow stuff. Takes back third, at least. Now, Covington, he doesn't look like he's got the pace, really, to match Jonas in second. See how quickly Hillman can dispatch. The American in front who have had so many battles this season. Most notably for victories such as in Mexico. In the Netherlands briefly. Now they're battling over a second at the moment. And we've got the inside line. Oh, he's not quite got that position. Covington playing the long game there. And Covington just holding on for the time being. Oh, but Hillman over the jump had a superb run. Takes over seconds. But coming to down the inside into the hairpin. Forces Hillman. Look at that. Into the bank. That's a first yet halfway mark of this race. Hillman says, get out of here into the next corner. 
Looks like Coven has had to heed, finally. Now, what can Hillman do about Jonas for, I believe, the third time this race? He's chasing down the KTM rider. See if we can actually slow him down, have a good battle as well. Covington, just punt Hillman wide. That's both as fun as we've done that now. And Hillman squiddy on the power, maybe getting punted from behind from Olsen. As Hillman finally gets back up into second. Or does he? He's run wide. Here comes Olsen down the inside of Covington. Absolutely crazy racing here in Lockett. And now Hillman just barges by. Saying you're giving me no respect. I'll give you none back. As he go into the right hand and he's taken back second. I believe that's Varna wins the battle. He's probably saying underneath his helmet. As now can he catch down Jonas? Look at him. He's just tantalizing the in front. Just a couple of seconds. Someone gets on the power hard. Now with that right hand. He's definitely taking that corner a bit better this race. Still not perfect. To go into the hairpin. Go through the right hand. It's very nice not being pushed up against the bank on the outside for once for Ilman. As Olsen down from third. Oh, the... Dane's got the pace to win here, but another mistake from him. You can join Hillman in the multiple mistakes club this race. As for Hillman, I think it's four mistakes he's had. Actually, it might be just three. Make that four now. It's too close to the fans there, too close to the fence. And for Hillman, and just as Jonas made a mistake puts himself on the back foot. He did this so much in the first race as well. Catching that top four. Just as in it like he was doing it, made a mistake. Same in this race. Just as in it's like he's comfortably taking the lead. Here comes a mistake. Or being forced wide by Jonas. So it's four mistakes. It's two in the first third. Actually no, he had three in the first third, didn't he? So it's five. In two in this third. Final third's all about winning. He has to win, really, for the championship. Can't afford to lose too many points to Jonas, if at all, out of any of these rounds. It really is the crunch end of the season. And though it might just be a point he gains overall, it's still every point counts at the end of the season. Don't want to lose a championship by a single point. Always want to win it by one, at least. You can see strongly get on the power at the corners now. That's much better uphill. Over the jump. Just using some of that banking maybe to help. And he's gaining on the own. He's very good in the first half of that hillman. We've seen it again here on this lap. Just a bit tricky in that section, getting a bit too sideways. Not a good run over the tabletop. But look at that into the flip-flop all over the back of Jonas now. Has he got just over a third of the race remaining? Sent off for another grandstand finish here in MX2 this season. And quite a few of them as Jonas a bit all over the place there, Hillman even more so, trying to use the bank, just carried a bit too much speed there. Semi finding all of his speed, virtually in all of these banks, can speed into them. There's Garcia now, up to third head of Covington. Might have no Hasfanas on the podium, which is very unusual compared to the one two he had in the first race. It's Hillman losing lots of time in the second half like that. Got to be better in the final third of this race. So he loses the back end a bit there. And so Ryan, he's been losing that all virtually the whole of the race, hasn't he? Maybe got to be a bit better at that. And so here we go, the left hand. If Jonas is a bit wide, no. Nails it this time. That could have been the move to take back the lead. 
As looking to the outside of Jonas. He's given no room the KTM rider. And he'll have been put for so wide. He's once again off the banks. A good drive out of that corner. Over the jump. And taking a wide line into the hairpin to get a good run off it. Oh, and Jonas has messed up in front. Been told to get back on his bike. Like Hillman's done multiple times this race. So Hillman takes the lead over from the KTM. Jonas, he's not invincible now. He's really shown that the last few races where he's been making mistakes. Which has allowed Hillman and co. to catch up to him in the championship. And he's done it again there. In the lead, the pressure was on. And once again, he's buckled slightly as to that thing, but he's still in second. And Hillman's still got to push. With nine minutes remaining, plus two laps. No, he's still got a good chunk of the race here. Got around seven laps at least remaining. That's a lot of laps still. Especially when you do stupid shit like that. And look at that! Look at Covington virtually on the tail! Of the owners. Can the American prove he does actually have the pace to challenge for the lead at the moment? Could be second shortly if Hillman gets his act together. After his sixth mistake. Cannot believe that. Finally in the lead. Finally got a comfortable lead as well in this race. And he does it again. Just needs one or two clean laps in a row. Then the conference can flow. It should be good for Hillman, but it's just not able to do it around this circuit. Such a tricky circuit. As we've seen with so many mistakes he's made in these races. I think he's up to six now in this race alone. Takes a little look down the inside of the hands, Varnas. Look at this, the top three. Virtually on top of each other, all of them. And takes the nook to the outside of Covington as Prado and Garcia battling for fourth. Hillman and Covington bashing handlebars over the jump. Then went down the inside of the American. Oh, makes the move stick. Thought for sure he'd get pushed out by Covington as Jonas messes up in front. Not a good exit from that corner. Just as Hillman tried to set up a move to the outside to the inside then. Switch back, Covington takes that line away. But for Hillman, for Covington, right on the tail of the KTM. How will Jonas respond? But he's gone wide. Hillman forces him wide, takes the lead. But for how much longer, he does not get a good run. Off the right hand, uh, and takes the lead into the next right. And into flip-flop section Hillman does take the lead for no he's wide onto the grass come on you finally take the lead back and then you do a mistake like that as he does what Jonas did to him early in the race just lets him know he's there he's still got Covington right there as Hillman takes on it down the inside doesn't work out Covington takes over a second they're just over five minutes remaining Look at the top three. Less than a second covers them. Oh, the crowd are on their feet. No longer they're cheering. And here comes Hillman down the inside. And Covington goes down the inside. Jonas. No, he does not get the run. How is Jonas and Covington? How are they still on the track? Very wide there. In and into the right hand jump. And Covington does take the lead from Jonas. From wide net like I no has Varnas on the podium. So now one lead in, no, Hillman takes the lead, or not. Common says, get out of my way. This is my victory. Serve it after the first race. There's we've got Jonas behind. Got Hillman on over the back of his old rival this season. For the win, again. Sionis demoted to third. Does he have any fight left in that KTM? There's Hillman trying to make the move on Covington. He's switching back down the inside. 
as now Olsen takes third from Jonas. Oh, the KTM my man maybe is dropping back in this race. It's Covington and him on battle for the win. Maybe Olsen's just gearing up for his assault on victory. You never know. It could still be right on the tail here of this top two. They said when they could do the inside, never working out. In that section, we go over the whoop section. Okay, too much speed, and old Covington messes up. He's been told to get back on his bike. Now he's dropped back down, and Ilman very wide into the jump. He's now got the lead, Covington off the podium. He is so close between the top four. Again. And look at Jonas forcing his way through into the lead. Just when he looked like he might not even be on the podium. He takes back the lead. But a has fun is right behind as well. Olsen and Covington. This one takes back the lead from Jonas, does he? Looking down the inside. Got Olsen there as well, and Hillman does. Forces his way by. As Olsen and Covington get to know each other again. Jonas a bit wide behind, and he's off the podium, down to fourth. The Silverman's finally got the lead back. Now can he hold it over these three, remaining three and a half minutes? Oh, it's been a frantic. Cherry Bobbit Moto. What a race, too. We saw this in the first third of the first race as well. How frantic it was, that battling in the midfield for Hillman. Well, it just proves the battling at the front was no less. Crazy has Jonas and Olsen are now battling like a hell for third. Covington in second, Hillman leading. As so you've got four laps remaining. Hillman wide again in that right hander. That's such a tricky corner to get right. Just like that right hander. As now Olsen takes over second from his teammate. Or oh, does he? Or oh, does Jonas take it over? Who knows? Where's Prada in this in fifth? Surely he's gaining like a hell in this top four. Because they've just been battling each other. Like it's their last day on earth. It has been incredible battling. For the win here. We do love Lockett. Throwing up a fritter once again in the second race. As Hillman, clear of the rabble behind, getting a rhythm a bit. Don't say it too loudly, but it's working out in the lead for the time being. As you approach the end of another lap, not sliding the bike too much as well into that hairpin. He might have actually built a lead as well. He's just shown in clean air. Maybe he does have the ultimate pace, does Hillman. Just not been able to show it all weekend long here, knock it. By the end of the second moto, he finally is able to show that, hey, I did have the pace to win that first race. I just did not get it right. At all. Just maybe didn't have the right setup either. As well, these softer settings have worked like a treat with his bike. Round it. Especially over for the lands over those big jumps. You can get the traction out of the corner, still a bit hairy at times, but. Especially now when Hillman was making mistakes in that first race. The bike's coming a bit more alive. He's setting those 32s. And being consistent in that time range as well. That was a bit wide through the double left. Sets up nicely through the right. Over the tabletop. Down second. And very tricky landing into the flip flop. With that kind of jump there. But Hillman just about survives. And into the hairpin as Jonas takes over second from Covington. As Olsen now dropped back. 
What's happened to the Dane? He's been so up and down this race. Back for the lead early on and made a mistake. Fought back, battling for second, made a mistake. Fought back, battling with his teammate. And battling for the win as he made another mistake now. At a crucial stage. We've just two laps to go now, coming up. As someone crosses the line, almost loses the rear into the hairpin. You can see the battling behind, it's so close behind as well. And it's like between the top seven, it's so close. I mean, we've probably got Prado still rounding out the top five. We'll have to check that out. Look out for the Brit as well, and that has Varner up into sixth, last we saw. Doing pretty well. See where Bogus has gone, where he's dropped back to the Dutchman. And the likes of Siwa, Hunter Lawrence, Liber. So many riders to keep an eye on in this MX2 class. So go using the bank well. And over the jump into the hairpin. Just flowing beautifully now, Hillman. And getting away from everyone. He's made the break. Only took almost the whole race to do it, but the last couple of that's have been so quiet, so crystal clear for Hillman. Compared to the frantic battling he's experienced for most of his time here in Lockett. Especially in this second race. What a battle for the win. Which in this like the Macau rider has come out on top of. Has he gone to the final lap? In the Czech Republic. Definitely missed this locket circuit. He's going to the left hander. That rear sliding. Don't use too much. Oh, he went towards his team. Celebrating a bit too early, Hillman. Still got to complete the lap. As that's his seven mistake. He's kept it in single figures in this second race, which is pretty good. See how tough this circuit is, how easy it is to make a mistake. As well, and how harsh the officials are, especially in that right-hander. It's hard to pick up his bike, same for Jonas. Is it going to the flip-flop? Just use that banking, get off there nicely. And over this giant, don't take too much speed over it, as we saw in the first race. You get very tricky near the end of the race, trying to take speed over that. To go into the final section of the lap. And for Hillman, he didn't keep the streak going. But it's another very good weekend. But well, he's taking points off Jonas, it may just be a point in the end, but still. For him, for the Hasvarnas, it's been very good in Eastern Europe. As over the final jump, Hillman wins the second moto. As Hillman wins by 6.2 seconds in the end, but Jonas grabs second out of Covington by a second with Olsen falling back to in fourth, Dean Garcia in fifth and then Muse in sixth, Italian seventh, Patro in eighth, Libra in ninth and Siro ran out of the top ten head of his teammate Hunter Lawrence by just 18 thousandths of a second, incredibly close between teammates. Bogus down in 12th in the head of Ward and Watson, Bernardini and a South African in last. As the Italian Ilman brought the victory over today, no problem but the next GP is mine, we disapprove. Covington is definitely a challenge here by High So Dominate and brought the victory. And we like you, Covington. We don't like you, Jonas. It's not easy to give a reason given that the worst rider wants to be in Hillman. He's starting all the beef, is Hillman has. He gets a joint overall victory alongside Olsen with Jonas in joint third alongside Covington. Shows how strong the top four, how close it was in both races with Garcia a bit of a distant fifth. Just ahead of the Brit. Fantastic. Out in for Muse ahead of the Italian. They've got Patrick Oliver, Siwa, Lawrence, Bowie Gears, Watson, Sterry, and Ardini with the South African right at the back level with Rubini and Goal.
He battled throughout the whole race from the very first bend, showing a lot of determination and willpower. The highest step on the podium is truly deserved. So overall, the gap tightens by a point. It is Jonas on 5.40, Hillman on 5.05, Covington 5.04, Olsen on 5.03. And it looks like Prado's out of it. 65 points back with 12 races remaining. Six rounds of the championship remaining. But it's incredibly close for second. And they're all ganging. They're all trying to close up on Jonas. We say ahead of the pack. It'll be very interesting to see in the remaining six races in the final third of the season with Patrell in sit of head of Siwa, Lawrence, Leiber, Bogues rounds out the top 10 by a comfortable 78 points. The Brits up to 12. As you scroll further down, you can see they've had 34 riders. Everyone has scored points now and a decent amount of credits and fame earned. As for Hillman, we're in the, champion, we're in the transfer window. So... You can change some sponsors. You can change the bike. Let's see technical sponsor. You could Hillman have customized the bike as well. That's what we want to be doing that. Main sponsor. Let's see he can upgrade now his main sponsor. Maybe change the nick of the bike as well. Don't quite have Magneti power money yet or Tag Heuer. Or do we just keep with the trend to know? It was pretty good. As let's just stick with this, shall we? Proceed like that. Make sure we're not continue. We'll not be able to change category or make any other modifications to the next transfer window. Remember that you can choose all possible technical sponsors to take more objectives and a better before a more beautiful bike. Should we actually do that? As there is a slot remaining for a sponsor. Let's choose a technical sponsor then. Who should we choose? Tires. Do you have a, we don't have a tent of sponsor for tyres. Okay. So we could get some Dunlops then. Should we get some Dunlops? There you go. You get some Joe Max on there. So let's continue. And let's see how we can do around the sandy surface on my L circuit in Belgium. Next time, another wide open track, but quicker. Then Lockett should provide some fascinating race and not restore that second moto. And we're interested to see if he does come out on top like we saw around the previous kind of softer surface tracks in Portugal, in Italy previously and the Netherlands earlier in the season. And see if he can close that gap up to Jonas alongside the Hasvar and the Twins. But Sam for watching. We'll find out if he does next time.